what's up it's your boy Kaden alpha nerd and we in it today's topic is gonna be why women don't like men who too available bro a lot of y'all guys out here bro it's just you too available you ain't never doing nothing you watching netflix all the time you don't hit the gym you don't work out you ain't doing nothing to better yourself and you just got so much time in a day that when she hits you up you responding in two minutes ten minutes an hour you responding so quick man i'm not even gonna get into that right now hit the like button it take two seconds to do but it make all the difference if you new to the channel make sure you subscribe we steady dropping heat i'm about to get straight to the topic at hand bro women don't like men who too available simply because you have no mystery bro it's nothing mysterious about you 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 don't get her wondering you don't get her thinking because she know what you're doing she know where you at bro she know if she hit you up you at home watching netflix bro if you got to the point where you messing with her she know if she hit you up you're gonna come running oh i need you to come do this for me i need you to come do that or i need this to happen i need that to happen she already know that you're gonna be available to do so bro so guess what's taking up her mind the person who is mysterious, bro. The person who she do got to wonder about. The person she thinking, man, I wonder what he doing. Or I wonder is he dealing with other girls because he ain't reached out to me in a whole day. He ain't reached out to me for a whole two days. Like, I got to call him all the time. I got to hit him up. If I never hit him up again, will he ever hit me up? Like, all of these are questions going through her brain when she dealing with a high value male, when she dealing with an alpha male who on his purpose, who on his ground, who got other options, bro. The problem with you, the problem with a lot of men actually is y'all ain't got no other options. You ain't doing nothing. You might have a job. You might make money, but that ain't the be all end all, bro. She know, oh, well, he just go to work and come home and watch Netflix, bro. You don't hang out with your friends no more because you in a relationship with this female like, oh, Oh, bro, I can't go out and do this because I got to do this with her. I got to go here with her, bro. No, that's not how that works, bro. When you dedicate all of your non... I can't say that. When you dedicate all of your attention to a female outside of the realm of the bedroom, when you dedicate all that attention to a female, guess what? You get all of her attention like that, bro. And you don't get any of her attention in the bedroom. Like, period. Like, you, she is not going to value you, bro. She is not going to value your time. This is how you stop women from being flaky. When you start valuing your time more, right? When you start putting yourself first. When you start thinking about your own time and doing things on your own time and doing things your way. Then she starts falling in line and doing things your way, bro. Females who you just meet this in my last video. I told you one of my last videos I told you not to deal with women Who didn't have a high level of attraction for you, right? Women with a high level of attraction They gonna fall in line very early like when you like yo You hit them up for a date to make the date after you meet them after you talk to them or whatever They gonna be down very early, bro. They gonna be less likely to flake You have to talk to them less you have to do less, right? But when you dealing with these women with low interest or who interest you got to build up She more likely to flake on you because she don't value your time because she don't value you, bro Because her attraction level ain't up there. She's not thinking about you. She's not wondering about you You probably met her in the street and 10 minutes later, she forgot, bro, that she even knew you. So now you have to text her all week and deal with her all week in order to let her know you still around in order for her to remember just who you are, bro. And that should not be the case. The thing is, you shouldn't be so available to women. You shouldn't be so gung-ho to jump at anything they're ready to do that you compromise yourself doing it. And that's the problem. I don't ever do that, bro. Like, if I had a plan for the day, bro, I have my whole week planned out for the most part. Every day I wake up, bro, I'm like, yo, I got to do this, 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 and this before I have any time during the day to do whatever else I'm going to do, right? I have my whole week planned out. I don't let anything, bro, barring an emergency, come in between me doing those things. Nothing. 
But that's what high value meals do. And guess what? Because I value my time that way, because I value the things I need to get done that way, she gonna value my time that way. She gonna value the time she gets with me, bro. If she only get an hour on a Thursday with me, bro, guess what? I bet you she show up on time for that hour. Because she know that's the only hour she gonna get out of me, bro. She know that's the only time she finna get out of me, bro. If she come late or I'ma say something, bro, because I'm a high value male because I value my time. So she's going to value my time. And if she can't value my time, she out. She cut. Normalize, bro, in y'all lives. Normalize cutting these women for not valuing your time. Normalize not being so available to a woman or not giving away your days. Like your Saturdays, bro, your Saturdays should be your most valuable day. Because Saturdays is typically the most valuable day for people. It's their weekend day, bro. Unless you work on Saturday, some people do. But for the most part, Saturday is your most valuable day. Stop giving away your Saturdays to these women with low attraction, bro. Stop giving away your Saturdays to these women who ain't earned them, bro. Like, stop it. Just, just so you could get her out on a date. Just so you could deal with her in a, in a way that you want to, bro. If she ain't making it easy for you to get her out on a date... If she ain't making it easy for you to take her out, if she ain't making it easy for you to deal with her, bro, stop dealing with her. Stop being so available that it comes off as you putting her on a pedestal. Go check my video, Putting Women on a Pedestal. The last video I just dropped about putting women on a pedestal. Because at the end of the day, if she got the feeling, if she even think you putting her on a pedestal, bro, you out, period. Or she going to treat, she going to dick you around and test you. I had this woman like, a few years back, bro. And I messed up, bro. I messed up, messed up. I messed up too. And fat ass, like just fat ass. And we was just, the whole summer, we was just at it, bro. I ain't want no relationship or nothing, but the whole summer we was at it. But uh, this one day, I invited her to hang out with me and some friends. And I got drunk. And I got a little bit too tipsy because... I started raving to my friends while she was sitting there, bro, validating her and whatnot. I got drunk, started validating her to my friends about how cool of a girl she was, how I enjoy hanging out with her, right? So I noticed, like, after that, she got real distant or whatever. Like, nothing went wrong during the day other than me validating her, other than me saying, you know what I mean, I want to spend more time with her and all of that good stuff. Like, stuff I should have never been saying, right? And so... Boom, she started getting real distant, real distant. And eventually, like, you know what I mean? We we smashed a few more times and we just fell off or whatever. I think she had to go back to college or something. And down the line, she hit my line or whatever. And we was just having a conversation because my roster was full. I didn't have no more slots available. And I didn't want to deal with this girl again. But we was just having a friendly conversation because I put her in friends on. We was having a friendly conversation. And she was like, and, you know, I had asked her. Just for the sake of learning, bro. For the sake of learning and being able to teach. I'm like, yo, what made you back off or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Back then, she was like, because you was putting me on a pedestal, bro. She kept it G with me. Like, when a woman got high attraction for you, she'll keep it honest with you. So, at this point, her attraction had went back up. She had super high attraction for me. And she kept it G with me. She's like, yeah, because you was like, I felt like you was putting me on some type of pedestal. I promise you, bro. Word for word. She said, I felt like you was putting me on some type of pedestal, bro. And in my head, I just couldn't help but laugh, bro. Because I'm like, bro, one day of not valuing your time, one day of being too available can make all the difference, dog. So you have to value yourself first. Think about yourself first. Put yourself in your convenience first. If you miss out on a couple dates because you put yourself first, so what, bro? You're going to attract into your world what you need, bro. You are. Just stay the course and run the numbers. That being said, I'm going to end the video there. It's your boy, Kaden, Alpha Nerd. I'm out of here. Make sure y'all like comment, subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm out.